Okay, I have no idea if anyone is watching this or can see it or anything. I have no very big clue at all what's going on here, but so the goal is um, <laughs> if if anyone is watching this and it doesn't work or something is wrong or whatever, then you know, write something in the chat and I might notice it at some point, but at the moment I have no idea whether anyone's actually looking at this at all. So, the goal here is this is Pick, which is a colour picker that I built. Uh, I quite like it myself. And it uh, is currently available as a snap or as source from GitHub. And here it is on GitHub. Um, and one of the issues that I get with it <coughs> excuse me, is please make a flat pack of it. Now let me see if I can find uh, uh, the issue. Oh, I can't find it now. Um, because someone filed it again. Ah, possible to offer a dev file. There it is. Right, so. A bunch of people have said it would be really nice to have this as a dev file and I said no. I'm not interested in making dev files. Making dev files is difficult. Um, uh, since the late lamented quickly went away, um, making dev files is a pain. I'm just not interested in learning. Life is too short. And so I built it as a snap because that makes it easy to distribute on Ubuntu and that's where literally all the users in the universe are. However, I got a bunch of people pushing back going, well, we're not going to use that because it's a snap. And the people have said, um, please make a flat pack. And some of them, you know, see, see, so there's people who've said, consider flat pack. Uh, and there's a bunch of thumbs up and everything. So it seems reasonable to me to at least consider this. And uh, I've been talking to George Castro. Some of you may know George. And he's all in on the whole flat pack thing. And um, uh, Popey, Alan Pope, built a thing called Unsnap, which helps you um, uh, remove SnapD from your system and install flat pack if that's what you want. Um, I'm not particularly interested in removing SnapD, at least partially because I use a bunch of snaps. Um, and I'm not planning on changing that, but sure, maybe I should investigate Flatpak. Seems to be where some of the momentum is. Um, uh, apparently, it's not coming to Ubuntu by default, but there's no reason why I shouldn't make this stuff easier for some of the more, you know, sort of boutique distros and what have you. So, yeah, cool. Let's have a look at Flatpak. Now, I know nothing about it. Um, I believe I actually did install it once. Um, Many years ago, or <laughs> many months ago, I think, long time ago, um, and then was confused by it, and I believe I've removed it. I'm not really sure. Um, so I thought, so what I need to do is I need to get Flatpak installed on this machine, uh, and then I need to work out how one builds a Flatpak, and then I need to work out how to build a flat pack with pick, uh, or flat pack of pick rather, and then I need to work out how to get that published on FlatHub and how to link back to it from here, and so on and so forth. I've got no idea if I'll succeed in doing any of those things today. Um, I almost certainly won't succeed in doing all of those things today, um, and. I've never done this before, I've never done any streaming or anything, so I've got no idea what I'm doing. But, we'll see how we get on. You know, you're supposed to work in public, etc, etc, etc. So, we'll do this and we'll see what happens. As I say, if, um, I have no idea if anyone's even, if anyone can even see this, but if you can, you know, and you've got thoughts, do drop something in the chat and I might notice it at some point. Hopefully, if it comes up here in OBS, like I say, don't know what I'm doing here, but, you know, we'll find out. So, first thing is, how do I install Flatpak? Now, my thought here is, because I actually installed Unsnap, didn't I? No, I didn't. Um, so, what we're going to do is we're just going to go to Flatpak. Oh, Flatpal. Flatpak, the future of application distribution. Okay. The future apps on Linux. Cool. That's actually quite a nice drawing. Nice. Who did that? Jimac or someone? This is so um, I try I mean it's it's very sort of um uh modern, you know, uh nice isometric pastel colours, whatever, but you know, cool. 
Get set up, okay? I'd like to get set up, please. La la la, sleep your district to get set up. I'm running Ubuntu specifically. I am running to install on 18.10 or later. Simply run sudo apps install flat pack. Really? Possibly be a PPA or something. Okay. Oh, knackers. To complete that, restart your system. I don't think I can restart in the middle of a stream. So, <laughs> um, what we'll have to do for now is to install it. And then we'll see later um, what happens. But I'll try building a flat pack first. And then I can always try doing the stream. Like, you know. Uh, I, I, can, I can always try... Um, restarting and then doing another stream later or something I don't know let's give it a shot anyway so we should so we should install flat pack I mean it may already be installed it isn't though. Uh, okay so this is going to install flat pack live app stream our oh, app stream is the um, thing which handles all the metadata I think and lib OS tree and OS tree is the the overlay file system -y thing which flat packs use, I think, something like that. I don't know much of the data. Okay, see what happened there. Um, I'm not bothered about the GNOME software plugin for flat pack because I'm not bothered about GNOME software because it honestly it's terrible. Um, <laughs> I wish there were a good uh software center, but there isn't. So whatever, and then I want to do this flat pack remote. And if not, is this flat hub? Okay, so I get a flat pack command, which exists. Uh, cool, and which does a bunch of stuff. Uh, so flat pack remote add. Ah, right. Okay, so this is the we want more than one software store thing, and this is flat hub, which is the main one. Oh, let me copy things. That's pretty neat. Okay, bosh. Uh, oh, ha! So, so it doesn't actually copy the thing. It copies what I've got highlighted. Right, and this is flathub.org, which I'm assuming is actually the thing, because, well, this is on flatpack.org, so this has got to be the right thing, I would have thought. Flathub.org is... Sure, this is flathub. Got to realistically trust this, haven't I? Uh, now, it's possible that I did this before, so, so if I do flat pack remotes, and there were none, and then there were none, okay. What? No, go away! Oh, that wasn't that thing at all, it was, um, edge, okay. <laughs> right, uh, I thought this was their, their site, but it isn't. Okay, so, uh, flat pack remote, if not exists, blah, 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 okay, um, a wise man once said, if I can get you to sue and say by writing something on my website, you have a very serious security problem on your system and you should look into it. And that person was not wrong. But we're going to trust the flat pack people because, you know, uh, everyone else is doing this and this just adds a remote. So, bosh. Ooh. Okay, note that the directories are not in the search path. So application just stored by Flatback may not appear on your desktop until the session is restarted. Ah, so this is what the restart is for, I assume, that it sets up all the default paths. So, presumably that's added it. Now all we have to do is install some apps. Uh, okay, let's see what happens. Let's pick a nice, small, simple app. Now Flatback, I believe, only does desktop apps and only does graphical apps. It's a bit of a shame because I can't install... Um, some naughty little command line utility. So let's pick just something tiny. I would like, please, a utility. Nothing very complicated. Um, oh, tool for designing application icons. I've already got an icon for pick, though, fortunately. Check it out. So I'm not going to need that this time. What else is that? Oh, an app image hub. <laughs> nice. Distributing um, a thing for app images in Flat Hub. Interesting. Okay, what's here that I actually want? I mean, strictly I could just pick anything, but I might as well pick a thing that I actually want. Two different calculators. 
hierarchical note taking clocks blimey color palette tool ha you will be defeated by peck when it's finally in here six months from now or whenever i get to that stage let's find out so which assets IV character manager really are you as good as D&D Beyond? I've got 50 pieces. You aren't. Um, updated 2021. Okay. Maybe it's complete. To my line instructions are just that. And then flat pack. Run. Oh, I see. So, so each flat pack has a... This looks like a globally unique name. Oh, I remember vaguely talking about this with the elementary people. Um... Where I can play because I wanted pick to be org.cryogenics.pick. And they said, no, it had to be com.github.stuartlanguage.pick. And I said, that's not what its URL is. right? It's my URL, uh, cryogenics.org. The fact that it's hosted on GitHub is kind of a coincidence. And they went, yeah, but we can only really pick things up from GitHub. And you just and I said, well, how do I, how do, I do it? And then change the URL. And they said, you can't, and blah, blah. And so there was a whole big fight about it. But it was an interesting discussion with... Um, uh, with Danny and the uh, the crew over there, so this is presumably the upshot of that. That actually, when you're running things on the command line, you do flat back around that. But I'm assuming a bunch of stuff will pick up. Okay, now I hate this about Edge now already. <laughs> you may be thinking, why are you using Edge then? And the answer is because Firefox, which is my normal browser, has about a million billion kajillion things configured in it that I don't necessarily want on a stream. So, uh, so we'll we'll use Edge as our browser for now because it's not too bad so man this looks like the simplest thing imaginable doesn't it okay yeah so this is not complete um it's pretty simple its website is its github repository <laughs> okay so it's not really an advert thing here and it hasn't been updated for nearly a year but probably going to be small probably not good oh oh that's nice download on flat have button okay so oh gnome builder i'm not gonna need gnome builder am i picks a python I, I don't like builder okay um so uh that's a nice button um i like that i'm assuming that's just a link to its flat art page right yes it is yes so now here's interesting. What happens when I click install? Ah, what's going to happen is it's not going to work, I suspect, because it's going to download what looks like a flat pack ref file, and my file association for that won't be set up. Um, partially because Edge is not my default browser, um, partially because I imagine the reboot probably sets that up as part of the flat pack installation process. So what I'm going to do is install it from the command line. So I'm going to go copy that, copy that, uh, and then I go shabam. Uh, do I want to install it? Yes, I do. Proceed with these changes to the system installation. Required runtime for uh, family remote flab. Org.gnome.platform is end of life, with reason the GNOME 40 runtime is no longer supported until March 21st, 2022. So this is dependent on GNOME 40. Right, no, don't proceed. So, so the issue with this thing not having been touched for a year is that it's dependent on GNOME 40. So these are like core snaps, presumably, right, or snap dependencies. Um, this is uh, this this program is dependent on core 40, on on GNOME version 40, and GNOME version 40 is now superseded and out of date, so we need to find a newer program. Um, if I'm going to do this, I might as well do it properly and have modern things, because I'll be building PIC to use a modern runtime, whatever the current version is. I wonder, that's a bit... The GNOME 40 runtime is now on support as of March 21st, 2022, but it was in support a year ago. Please ask your application developer to migrate to a supported platform. I will be annoyed if I have to rebuild this flat pack whenever there are new releases for no reason. If nothing has changed about PIC, I have to rebuild and re-upload the flat pack. Like, this is what Apple do, 
and they're currently getting a kicking for it in the world um, because they're binning people from the iOS app store unless they rebuild their apps um, and it's screwing a load of independent game developers so hopefully that doesn't apply to flat packs hopefully there wouldn't actually be a problem with me running this sure this is end of life which means he's not getting support um, actually that see that's not good though the thing's only a year old I mean maybe GNOME 40 is much 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 older than a year but I don't think it is uh, flat pack org dot oh. org dot gnome dot platform dot local. I wonder if so these are three point two six and twenty eighteen available runtime. That's what I'm looking for. So free desktop runtime. The GNOME runtime is available for any application that uses the GNOME platform. Yes, based on the free. The GNOME runtime is maintained here. Oh, I think it just popped up um, from Mastodon, uh, which suggests to me that I should also post a link to this on Mastodon. That's a good idea. Um, I'll do that, I think. Let me um, uh, put my phone on silent, and I'm going to copy that from Twitter and I'm going to put it on Mastodon. Excuse me a moment. Um, talk amongst yourselves. Not that I think there's anyone actually listening to this, but whatever. I have no idea how I find out either. <laughs> how do I know if anyone's listening at all? Um, <laughs> I don't want to go to it because then I'll get sound echoey things. Um, right, so meta text, and let's put this in uh, Mastodon.social and then I go. Come on, you stupid iPhone. Give me a paste. There we are. Toot. And hopefully now this will have tooted. Has it done it? Mastodon Social is. Um, currently suffering uh, with very slow, terrifying posts, uh, rather because about 60 billion kajillion people have joined it. Um, yeah, and that seems to have posted. Cool. So let's see if anyone shows up. Uh, if you do show up, uh, mention something in the chat just so I see that someone's there, because I've got no idea what's going on. Okay, so now. Available GNOME runtimes are those. Yeah, I need to know the version numbers, so I need to know where it's maintained. This is going to be some Git repository, isn't it? <sighs> okay, how do I find out? I don't want to build it. I just want to know what the current version is. This is well. This is a flat pack, right? Therefore, it should be in the. It should be in FlatHub. One would assume. Um. The next step is to also query the different versions available from the command line tool, but we'll search here first. Now, it is po very possible that this won't come up because um, it will carefully hide away um, invisible infrastructure flat packs from the search engine. Yep, thought as much. Right. So, uh, let's find out from. Flat Hub, how we get uh, information about a flat uh, search. So, flat pack search org.gnome.platform. And then hopefully this will show me the different versions that are available. It will give me a sense of whether installing 40, or installing a program which depends on 40, is okay or isn't. So, 41 and 42 and 3.38 are available. That's helpful. Thanks a bunch. Thanks a whole heap. Let's do that again. Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> um, can I get more detailed information about something? Like when, it, like when it's due to go away? Probably not. That doesn't seem like the sort of thing that um, the App Store would know. So, so there's a 42 and a 41, and 40 was still valid last time this program was touched a year ago. 
So, man, flat pack. When does all dot gnome dot platform forty one reach end of life? Three point three eight platform end of life. Okay. Which end of life in two months? These people talk about three point three eight being end of life. Yeah, sure, but. Yeah, I'm not bothered about having multiple versions. I'm perfectly fine with there being multiple versions. The big question is, if I build something based on version 42 now, when does 42 go out of life? And will you make me rebuild and re-upload my application even though nothing has changed? Because it looks like you don't support old versions. The question is, how long was 40 around for? If 40, if version 40 was around for 10 years, you know then okay, cool. I'm, eventually you have to drop support for things. But if you, uh, if Gnome comes out every six months like it used to, and you support the current version of the last one, that means I have to rebuild my application every year. Um, that's really annoying <laughs> if I have to do that. So hopefully I will not. But... Okay, so this is. Oh, fine. This is just someone who got the same bug that I got when I installed that. Uh, ah, flat pack one time end of life. This is someone asking on Reddit. Aha! 11 months ago. The app will keep working because we won't be able to use newer features that are available on that runtime. If there are security vulnerabilities the app and runtime are not updated for, they will continue to be a risk. But the sandboxing, if implemented, might lessen their impact. They will not start remotely disabling, disabling EOL runtimes. Right. Okay. <coughs> oh, this flat pack as a solution is future proof. Learn. <laughs> um, right. So, from that, I mean, obviously, this is just. Some guy on Reddit, so not that convinced, but um, the pitch with that is they're not going to start breaking applications. They're not Amazon, so that's good. And if it honestly means everything will keep working and will just vaguely whine at you a bit, then that's good. If what it means is now you're out of security support, which means if there's a security issue, sucks to be you, I guess, then that's not good. So it's my own package. It's up to them. No, 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 no. It's hard to have fixed LTS runtimes which receive security updates. Yeah, well, this would be good if it wasn't the fact that you've just literally guessed whether that's the case. Uh, oh, thanks. Helpful. Man, everyone, half the people in the community are just terrible. Uh, the schedule is, oh, the schedule is here. Right, that's what we want. Development schedule for GNOME 41. That's useful. Which year is it? <laughs> okay, this is the GNOME 41 schedule. And March the 12th, Wednesday. What? Week? Oh, this is week 12. Right. Day, Wednesday the 24th of March. Is that this year? <laughs> Cal, 2022. The 24th of March is a Thursday, so that's not this year. <laughs> so that must be last year then, is it? Wednesday 24th of March was indeed a Wednesday, so that's so this is 2021. This end of life for GNOME 3.3, this will be the final update to 338 runtime. It's interesting, I wonder why that's still in Flat Hub then, and 40 isn't. 40.4 .4 stable tarballs are due. So 41 came out when? Stable release was Wednesday the 24th of March. Okay, so 40. Oh, no, that's 40.0. So 40 came out on the 24th of March last year, which means your man, when he built that, 
Well, the last time he built it, I've got to find it again now. Too many tabs. Honestly, I'll open one new tab. Right, go away, go away. Yeah, here. No, that's the. Oh, it's because I switched away from it. Um. Shabum, shabum. Download on flat tab. Okay. So, uh, when this was last released, was on May the 19th last year, and the GNOME 40 um, version, which it was built against, was we had been out two months at that point, and it's now gone. So runtimes last 12 months, if you're lucky. Uh, by the look of this, GNOME 40 came out on... Wednesday the 24th of March, and it said in here, did it not, that it's been disabled since March the 22nd? Yeah, March the 21st. So it's a year. Runtimes last a year, which means if I build it against 42 now, a year from now, I'm going to have to rebuild it, if it makes me rebuild, which some guys on Reddit suggest that I don't, and it'll just keep working. Man, this, this is very... Un oh, I'm making a note. Note. Uh, if my, if, I'll, I'll tweet these at people or write a forum post or something. If pick is built against runtime version N and a year later that, oh, that, this is GNOME runtime, all.gnome.platform runtime version N, that runtime is EOL. Does the app stop working? Ideally, no. Does everyone installing it get hassled uh, about how I'm depending on a on an EOL runtime version? Presumably, yes. Uh, important. Am I... Well, is pick no longer in security support? I.e. if there is a security issue in runtime version N, which uh, affects pick... Um, I S O L because it's E O L. <laughs> or are out or are E O L runtimes or do E O L runtimes still get security support for more than twelve months? If the answer is no, if it's truly the case that. I've got to rebuild every 12 months and republish just to stay on the latest runtime, even if my application hasn't changed. And there's no security support for stuff older than that. That's a bit poor. However, I have no idea whether that's the case. So, <laughs> we'll find out. I wonder, can I... If I bring this up in YouTube... Yeah. Right, so, there you go, first set of questions. Right, so from this, it sounds like I should be able to just install that, so I'm, well, no, because I don't really want the old version of the runtime, do I? Even if it's okay, I probably ideally don't want it. So, let us have a look for a different utility. See what else there is that might be interesting in the flat hub. Cool keyboard countdown track events till they happen or what? No, all oh, QR code thing. I tell you what I would like is the thing to, to edit little images um, so I can then post them to Twitter or Mastodon or whatever. That would be cool. Um, I wonder if there's anything like that. Don't know what I'd search for. So let's have a look. Uh, files you don't use, you're not supposed to need them. Just write zeros over and you're done. Um, Right, flow time. Get things done. Keep constant. I don't know what. 
And you see, this would be good if it's not the fact that it's the font manager that I've already got, I'm sure. It would be... I want a good font manager. Is this a good font manager? In particular... I forget, browsing and installing... No! I wanted to look at the fonts I've already got. Um, and ideally, I would like... You see, here's a here's a feature request for anyone watching this who's a, who's a GNOME developer. Um, and it's going to involve a whole bunch of community work and effort and working with the GTK team and everything, right? Uh, and it may be impossible, but I would like some. I would like a font manager which lets me see all my fonts and group them up in a way that I deem fit, so I can invent categories and put my fonts in them. But then those categories are reflected in all the applications that use fonts, so I can have a group of fonts called Stuart's Cool Headline Fonts or something like that. And then when I go to Inkscape and drop down the fonts list, or in uh, in GNU Imp or in uh, LibreOffice or whatever application I'm using that uses fonts, I drop down that font list and it shows me. The fonts categorise the way I thought. So I can go into Stuart's cool headline fonts and pick the font I want. That would be unbelievably useful. And it would show that we're a platform and not just a bunch of loosely connected apps. Someone build that, please. That would be brill. I will be super happy with you if you do that. And I will subscribe to your newsletter and pay you money and things. Make it happen. Right, so. Display mouse and keyboard events. No, thank you. Uh, digital diary note taking no I, I should just pick anything but I feel like this is an auspicious occasion right I'm um, I'm looking for uh, my first flat pack application this seems like a big deal um oh no oh Popey says it's a slideshow again in the chat oh no well that's tragic I thought I thought I'd fix that curses what did i do wrong then well that's not good um uh did i not set the yeah set it down to 1080 and that seemed to work when i tested it before alan oh no denied i thought that worked it should be 1920 by 1080 and it should work fine well, that's infuriating, and I bet I can't change the um, uh, the streaming details while I'm running it either, can I? Well, curses. Okay. Then I may have to step everything down a bit, I'm afraid, peeps. So... Um, pants okay that's really annoying right okay then i will terminate this stream for now and then well i don't know can i i'm assuming i can't change this stuff while it's running <sighs> no all this all the output details are all grayed out presumably because i have a stream on the go <laughs> um i had the bitrate turned down and everything <laughs> Well, boo-hoo to that, and an eclair for none of us. Fine. Um, well, here is a question, then. What happens if I just change the details of this while it's working? If I switch... I'll switch to the waiting thing. 